Hello everyone, today I'm doing you a bike check on my 2017 NS Bike Snab Carbon Enduro Bike. This thing is sick, I've never had a carbon bike before and uh, this week has really proved how strong it is so I'm going to take you through all the parts. I'm starting off with the wheels, I've got the Halo Chaos 650B wheel set on there, super strong. Um, I rode them to the point where most wheels would have blown up uh, because every spoke was loose because I'm an idiot and they didn't even bend so I tightened them back up and went back out there so those wheels are literally bomb proof amazing um, for the brakes we got Saint brakes on there epic stopping power perfect for trail and downhill stuff I've got the Mizoki 350 NCR titanium forks on there beautiful ride no issues with them loving them so far the rear shock is also Mizoki, it's an S3 CTR shock, amazing, working perfectly. I've set the bike up as a downhill bike and you know, that's working good and I'm super heavy so um, you know, it's going to be good for everyone. Uh, what else have we got on there? Obviously the frame itself is, oh it's like weather man, the frame itself is absolutely amazing. Uh, I love it. Uh, I've set up my front brake through the forks in case I want to do a few bar spins, which at downhill speeds is highly unlikely, but you know, I just thought I wanted to have a go with that. Uh, the cranks uh, are race face. Well, actually, I'm lying. The cranks are supposed to be race face. Um, me. What are they called? I'm supposed to have race face cranks on here, but they didn't arrive in time, unfortunately. But I can vouch for race face that their stuff is sick. Uh, moving on. The gears are XTR, and they've worked great. Apart from I've snapped the cable, you might have noticed. I wasn't going to say, but I'm sure one of you is going to notice that. So DMR Bikes hooked me up with some V12 pedals with the magnesium uh, axle on there and they're super light uh, to go with all the rest of my bike which is basically just purely carbon. This thing's super light and so easy to throw around so thanks DMR for the pedals, they're uh, working quite a treat at the moment. So the handlebars are the NS Bikes Monogram Plus handlebars in carbon. Uh, I was a little bit worried about that at the start but they've been super strong and brilliant throughout my trip. The stem is supposed to be an NS Bikes um, stem, but I had a few issues and I've got a DMR one on there, but that's also great. But yeah, the uh, I didn't have enough time to sort it out. I'm sorry I built the bike just before I came to Whistler. Um, the saddle is an Octane 1 downhill saddle. Um, I'm not sitting down much, but if I was, it's pretty comfortable. Um, what else? Of course. For tyres, I'm running the Continental Kaisers and once again, had a little issue, so now I've got a tiny skinny one on the front. I wasn't gonna say about that either, but I know that someone's gonna spot it and mention it. So uh, I'm running a 2.2 on the front and then a huge Der Kaiser on the rear. Usually I'd just have Der Kaisers because they're amazing on the mountain, but actually this this 2.2 tire on the front is surviving pretty good for a full downhill track. So, yeah, Conti's epic. And that is it for my bike. I'm gonna do you a few clips taken from my GoPro of riding in Whistler. Hope you enjoy. Hope this changes your mind and you wanna buy some of this stuff because it really is epic for everyone. Subscribe to my channel, of course, and expect more epic videos every two days. Thanks a lot guys, see ya.